And this platform on this show, we gonna stand on what we saying. Hey, what's happening? It's your boy, Lewis Belt. This is another episode of Popular Loners Podcast. You understand me? Feel yeah, me? We got man. Ryan Davis in the building, man. How you feeling, P? Man, listen. Feeling good, man. Glad to be back, man. It's too much to talk about. Man, it's hella <laughs> shit going on. You feel me? We've been traveling, been on that road, hitting these dates yeah. and shit. Um, trying to get to the level that P. Diddy was on, but I don't know if I want to get that big now. I'm cool. Yo. You see what's going on with P. Diddy? <laughs> That nigga done got too famous. Yo, P. Diddy is so famous that that video dropped and people who have absolutely nothing to do with P. Diddy is like, just so y'all know, I'm totally against domestic violence. It's like, nigga, nobody thought you were for it. But he, Diddy is so big. That your like people's fan bases be like, I need you to denounce this. Yeah, like we Diddy so famous, we gotta talk about this nigga. We ain't tripping. We on some player shit. We mind yeah. our business. But they like nigga, talk about the nigga that's in the hallway stumping bitches out. Yeah. I love everybody. I'm just playing. But but he out uh, he out there <laughs> stumping out Cassie at the hotels. Was was you surprised? that you seen that video or are you like I'm not surprised by Diddy actions anymore nah I'm not surprised I heard things years for years this this ain't a secret as much as people act like it's a secret mm-hmm. um now the visual though is something that changes everything you know that's what, what I mean? I'm saying we know Diddy been doing dirt but we know he was stumping on bitches at the in hotels like the thing I think for me it's like it's like we've heard that Ike Turner beat up Tina Turner yeah but we ain't never seen it. I think of a video drop, you know, like a lot of people make jokes about uh, Ike beating Tina the movie and all of that. But if we really saw a video of him like dragging her, I think it changes people's perspective of it. You know what I mean? Nah, I, I ain't think, gonna lie. I don't gotta see Ike. The, I don't gotta see Ike hit Tina. I believe that. I, no, nah, Ike... I'm saying it's, it's. I'm just saying it's stuff like that that's already out there. Mm-hmm. That people hear or whatever, and I think it just doesn't resonate the way that seeing it does. You remember Ray Rice? Mm-hmm. They heard he punched this woman, yeah. and then when that video came out, they kicked him out the league. They were like, "Nah, we heard it, but when you see it, it's nah, like, seeing oh, this some, is way worse." Seeing something is different because my whole thing about the Diddy and Cassie situation was more like I, I was just playing with it. But once you really, once I seen Cassie really get stepped on and hit and stumped on, I'm like. Now I'm starting to feel sorry. I'm like, yeah. all right. <laughs> like, because whenever you be like, somebody be like, I was in an abusive relationship, it was like, oh, he slapped her or he uh, he pushed her and choked her against the, the wall or something like that. You don't think this nigga draw back, field goal kicker style, kick this girl something in the middle of a hotel. What a, domestic violence is way worse in practice and people imagination we never imagine things being as bad as they actually are i think yeah as yeah. uh human beings man and that was yeah. i that thought was she a- got i thought she got choked out or something you feel me bitch yeah. shut the fuck up cussed out and now she's trying to tell on diddy no i'm like nah this ain't this ain't the man listen think about how bad it had to be for him to be that confident to do it in, in the in the middle of the yeah. hotel like yeah, that, Yeah, he bro. been whooping her ass. He was too confident. He like, he I don't care if you're in the hallway, confident. in the bathroom. You know I whoop your ass. Yo, in a <laughs> towel, in the hallway, by the elevator. Nigga, it's like four, five elevators. Anybody can show up at that moment. And yeah. he realized how famous he is. Anybody can see this. Do you feel like moment. the hotel out of pocket? Because they been had the footage. Oh, they completely out of pocket. This is the the way I feel is everybody's out of pocket. Everybody who has ever witnessed or knew for a fact that he was dragging her like that and they didn't say anything. Yeah. I don't I I I've been lost a lot of respect for people in the industry, bro. Because I was just finna get to that. It's a lot of these industry niggas that's quiet. Bro. Yeah. They were friends with that girl, knowing she getting beat down like that, ain't trying to help her out of that situation because they don't want to move themselves out of position of whatever they got. And I'm just like, I, I'm just not a, I'm not, I'm not like that, yo. I'm just, yeah. I'm just not a fan of that. If I yeah. knew somebody was getting, you know what I mean? Somebody yeah. I know is getting drug out like that. And they're like, Ryan, if you tell, it may affect your career. And I'd be like, look, Shorty, you really want help? You really want out of this situation? 
I'll do whatever it takes to get you out of this situation. Now, if I try to help you, and then you go to police and be like, nah, Ryan don't know what he's talking about, and but I see, lose my career. But see, that's why you, you can't help, back, though. But see, that's why you can't help, because it's like, if you help her, or, and then it's like, I didn't say that because the bitch so scared of Diddy. Now it look like you not minding your business. Yeah, now you're... And she already known for telling Telly. She already got paperwork to suit the nigga for hella M's. You don't know what she capable of. She might shut everybody's shit down. Yeah, but that's what... Listen, I think we need a... a I think... Because this is the thing for me, right? I mm -hmm. think... This is why I think a lot of people knew. For sure, a lot of people knew. Because mm -hmm. a lot of niggas around Diddy ain't saying nothing. Oh, yeah. You ain't heard one person with a real relationship with that nigga denounce any of this. Yeah. But that shows you that. Person. Not but it's one like... person say, I saw the video and I was shocked and I hope my brother gets help. You ain't seen none of them. See, you that's why it's important. But see, that's why it's important to be a popular loner. Because you party with a motherfucker don't mean y'all friends. Yeah. That's why I don't like partying. I know everybody at the party fake. So I don't want to party with you niggas, bro. Because when niggas. it come down to it, when the bitch get to telling, nobody going to speak up for me. Yeah, and they going to show me, and then somebody do some fuck shit, they going to show me in a bunch of pictures with the nigga. Yeah. I wasn't, a nigga with a camera walked up. I ain't want to be rude. So I was like, and that ain't like, that's your boy. Yep. That's your boy. <laughs> yeah. Don't do no fuck shit around me. I'm telling Nah, for real. See, I can't tell on nobody. Though. I can't, Ryan. I can't. No, I just can't. I just this rather not hang out with a There's nigga. There's a difference. There's a difference in telling and telling the way that I tell. See, I tell like 50 cent tell. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> What's the difference between telling and 50 cent telling? Break that they, down. They be like, oh, he being funny. He trolling. But you really telling. <laughs> but you mm. really telling. What's, you know what I mean? <laughs> It don't look I like peep, I, I'm peeping game. I see where you're going with it. Yeah, it don't look like stitching when you're trolling, but you really be telling shit. You really telling Yeah, because I'm starting to look at these Vlad TV interviews different. I'm like, these niggas oh, really going up telling here telling this whole the time. time. Bro. They're telling. <laughs> I see what you're saying. Okay. So you saying you would tell, but the difference is. Nah, the yeah, 50 Cent damn near fake telling on the niggas, huh? Oh, they tell on niggas all the time. 50 be telling on niggas all the time. And but it, but it's is I told you saying is I told you telling? Yeah, because you told the first time. Because you, you told. told. When the yeah. Came out, you're like, I told you, niggas. Because 50 Cent just saying I told y'all niggas. <laughs> yeah, I told you. Because there's some niggas in this industry that is, let them niggas start getting trouble and be like, I told you, niggas. Hey, but I'm going to tell you this, though, man. There's a lot of niggas right now watching Diddy get taken down that realized they ain't invincible either because they were not because Diddy was looked at as invincible to a lot of niggas. You don't yeah. get away with the shit he been getting away with if you no. ain't got legit no. power. And there's a bunch of people who are around who submitted to that power for the longest is like that probably participated in some bullshit he was in. Yeah. That's like, damn, if they can get him, they could definitely get me. So let me just shut up. Because this is yeah. the thing. Niggas don't shut up. You know the only reason why they dropped that footage is because his son made that diss record and was like, they ain't got nothing on us. Because you remember the feds been found out. They been had all this shit. They been raided this spot and they been, been found this spot. footage for sure. They been got this video. But I don't think nobody give a fuck about what Diddy's son talking that about for that. him to it's spark something up opinion. again. It's the, it's the public opinion war. You know what I mean? Like, one thing that the feds or anybody in power don't like is you playing in their face. Like, nigga, we about to take you down and your son out there talking about they raided the house, but they didn't know about the house next door. So you niggas ain't got nothing. That's yeah. what he was saying in the uh, diss he made the 50. Yeah. Like, oh, you out here with your chest out. Let me show you some old shit. This ain't, don't get it twisted. We really got, you got to remember, man. You got to remember, when you talk about surveillance cameras mm -hmm. at a party. Yeah, you got hella shit. You got you didn't, you, hella shit. You got some shit, for sure. You got, you got hella some shit. shit. You got some shit. See, but see, that's why, why y'all, if y'all go to these parties, 
Don't do nothing. Don't try to fuck nobody. Nothing. Just get your dick sucked. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You can't get in trouble. What nigga in the United States got his got in trouble for getting his dick sucked? Right. Because this is the end of the thing. You submit it to the other person. You know what I mean? A bitch I chose me. I'm I just trying to that. chill in the back. She <laughs> came in the back and started sucking dick. I let her do it. Then I went home. As <laughs> soon as you get your dick sucked, go home. Leave the party. Leave the party. Niggas get in trouble because niggas sticking around, trying to conversate, toast with niggas, have drinks, fuck. Trying to talk people into fucking, trying to talk. Hey, man, <laughs> don't do none of that. None mm. of that. You Don't talk to men past 10, y'all. I'm, I'm telling, telling y'all. you, if I was ever at a party and motherfuckers pulled out cocaine, I would, even if it didn't shock me, I'd be like, oh, just so you could get it on camera. Get me yeah. on camera being like, oh, yep. I, I've never been around anything like that. Nigga, nah, I, for real. Nigga, no. I'm always, now I'm always moved like I'm on camera. Yeah, and, but and, is that party thing, <laughs> is the party shit, is that, you think that party thing is going to end because of Diddy? No. You niggas think they ain't gonna, gonna stop have you? niggas gonna be like, hey yo, don't be recording motherfuckers. Motherfuckers is gonna have like lawyers involved now when they go to niggas' parties, like, hey, party ain't that damn don't serious. Be These niggas recording crazy. me without my permission. It's mm. gonna be a lot of that. It's gonna trust me, it's gonna be a whole lot of that to where lawyers are able to uh like my client didn't know they were being recorded. They were being recorded without their permission. This yeah. shit is inadmissible. They gonna find ways to try to fight that shit for sure. They gonna try mm -hmm. to fight that shit for real. But the problem is in Diddy's particular case, right? Mm -hmm. He's the criminal. He's the person that they're gonna get. So these cameras being up 100% can be used against him because it's his cameras. Yeah, for sure. You yeah, that was saying? smart, but that's it. now it's starting to bite him in his ass because it's your camera. That's why I'm they went into you, his I spot. Think, and I, I think the only reason, I think one of the biggest reasons he was untouchable is because whatever was going down at these parties and these things, all these things he has on camera, you can blackmail somebody with that. Yeah. The moment they stop yeah. fucking with you, be like, hey man, don't forget about the shit we used to do. I don't. Hey, I, don't, I ain't on that shit no more. Oh, but it's mamas. on camera, baby. Yeah, Meek Mill, all them niggas gonna be it's like, hey, camera, bro, stop baby. playing with me, nigga. I got you in a G string, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> in 4K. That's the crazy Diddy got part, Meek man. Mill twerking or something because this nigga, Meek That's Mill, acting strange. I'm embarrassed. I be laughing at these niggas who, who wait to the last, just hold on to the last second, right? In hopes that it don't come out. When really you could have done damage control so much earlier that by the time the big shit come out, ain't nobody even thinking about you no more. But see, that's why these niggas on, on interviews and shit tell them though, because they're trying to tell before somebody else tell on them. Yeah. So it's like, you can't expose a nigga that already told you the truth. You could have never exposed me if I already told you the truth. And that's, that's what everybody trying to run to the internet, tell their truth, because it's like, these videos is out here lingering. Man, but they, I told not, you niggas I fucked hoes. So nigga, yeah. leave me the fuck alone. I'm in a relationship now. Yeah. <laughs> Don't try to pin no Lewis was a pimp. No, I'm not. <laughs> you know, they try to frame shit on niggas now. Yeah. Whatever narrative yeah. that you run with, they're gonna be like, oh, they gonna same shit to build you up or break you down. Do not, that's what man, you you hit the nail on the head. Do not let somebody else tell the narrative of your story, bro. Yeah. Do not give somebody the opportunity to turn the truth into whatever it is. Because shit can look like whatever they make it look like if they are the person who tells the story first. Yeah. If somebody comes out first against you, then it's your then it becomes your job to disqualify what they saying. But if you had told the truth right up front and don't hide what the yeah. fuck you want, yeah. everybody be like, oh no, that nigga was very honest about who what he be doing. Yeah. You just you just one of them. You one yep. of the people in that story. Yep. And now you mad. Because people it, do get mad. Is Diddy career officially over with? Is it officially over with now? It was already over. When they when they took the liquor, Before the they video. took Revolt, they took everything. It was already over. Revolt wasn't shit anyways. I love no, everybody. No, what I'm saying is they didn't even... This is, this is the same thing I saw with Russell Simmons. When they start taking your name off of any, any and everything your name is attached to, yeah. it's over. Yeah. Because they're saying... Even though people don't even tie this to you, they may tie this to you. And once they do, it's over for all of us. 
Just yeah. knowing you. you Look, how many people have you seen around Diddy other than CBJ? Yeah, and that's the only reason they probably together because they probably fucking them niggas. He was them already niggas acting strange. He was already to, to not be touched. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm pretty sure there's plenty of niggas behind the scene still supporting the nigga. You know mm. what I mean? And I'm not mad at them because that's what actual loyalty look real friends do yeah, yeah that's what yeah. friends really yep. do yeah we so talk I'm, I, I'm, I'm talking shit about stevie j for being a loyal friend ain't that a bitch this generation fucked up huh? yeah fucked up. <laughs> like the nigga just holding the nigga down and i don't but I stevie j lying he look like he lying you know how liars oh, man, look please ball nigga you know that I, nigga i know. watched the tmz documentary that nigga know about all kinds of wild shit like Man, yeah, but my, my thing is, though, we got to get to a point, right? Let's say niggas is having wild sex parties. That's mm-hmm. between them and them niggas. I don't think that yep. information should never get leaked. Yeah. Who fucking who at parties or whatever, I don't think that shit yeah. should ever be leaked. Yeah. I don't think that shit is cool at all. If Meek Mill was there twerking in a thong for the for a opportunity to get a collaboration... That's them niggas. That hurt me though, bro. That hurt. That, yeah, that hurt. But that's, that's gonna hurt the streets. The streets need to know that. Nah, the shit. Listen, I don't think the streets need to know it because at the end of the yeah, day, yeah, we don't need to know no more. It's we already all know. Entertainment, man. You cannot be. Damn, you yep. can't be. Per, you can't have a personal feel for an entertainer. Yeah. You know what I mean? This person, just because a person make good music, don't mean they don't twerk at sex parties in a G string. You right. That, that, yeah. That they can make good, just appreciate the music. That's what it's all, that's what it has to be for people. We gotta get back to people loving stars but not worshiping stars, right? Mm, Just that's true. loving what they do, not necessarily loving the person. Because yeah. these people are capable of doing anything. Is that 50 cent point? I think that's always 50 cent point. 50 cent don't never go, love me, believe in me. I'm without fault. He don't say shit like that. He, he goes, these niggas weird. These niggas doing some other shit. And, and me personally, I just don't do shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. 50, 50 don't ever, like, people try to get on 50 about his relationship with the mothers of his children, his, his, his children. That's normal nigga shit, though. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. But at the end of the day, he don't ever go, I'm perfect. These people fucking with me. He's like, hey, man, y'all, that's what y'all to talk about. Y'all can talk about that all you want to. This shit ain't got nothing to do with me. Nah, real shit. Yeah, real shit. You th- you think he could make a uh? Cause you know Fifty Cent, he be uh making movies and you know I'm into power and BMF, all of that. Fifty Cent, like he finna make a whole documentary about uh P Diddy. He he's <laughs> he, he call it he gonna call it a uh, Diddy Diddy do it. Yo, did I Diddy do it? This, it's going platinum in the streets. Nigga, everybody gonna watch that. Everybody gotta watch that. That's why you think a, he gonna really do it? I don't think he gonna really do it, but I think if it's a real shot that he gets access to the rights to the footage and shit, and he can get people to do the interviews, he's definitely doing it. He's de- Damn. that's a gold mine. You're gonna that's get smart. you're gonna get at least ten million viewers per episode. With that. And, and the nigga might as well do it and, and, and get the money instead of letting you feel me the yeah. other side get the money. Right. That's what I'm saying. So help the brother man, not the other man around this yeah, motherfucker. Go ahead and let him get it. Yeah, shit. I might I, we might be producing. No, I don't want to be involved in none of that freak ass. I shit. don't want to I don't want to be prov- involved in it. So if you're watching <laughs> this and you are making a Diddy documentary, I need you to know that I oh. do not want to be a part of it. Yeah. Not in front of the camera, not behind the camera. No, not me. Mm-mm. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be on camera telling another black man down like that. Because I was watching a TMZ one on Tubi, and it was just, they did them dirty. They did them just like R. Kelly. I'm like, oh, man, these other folks will tear your ass down when they got but the this opportunity. Is the thing. The I, just want the te- I just want the testimony of the people. Like, his old bodyguard... Eugene or whatever has been talking. He talked about the time Diddy Arm was in a sling mm-hmm. uh, because he was beating on Kim and then Kim stabbed him. His, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. his ex, Kim, says she stabbed him with a corkscrew. Yeah. And that's why his arm was in a sling. Yeah. Okay. People had to know that shit, bro. 
They ha- so yeah, they if know. they heard that story, then they know he was abusing her. Know that she fought back, stabbed him with a corkscrew. He ain't the only person that they. He said he had heard that the one baby mama had ran from Diddy. He was beating on her so bad that she had to get underneath a car to escape. Yeah, him. I seen that. You gotta think about it, bro. We used to people used to get in fights in the neighborhood growing up, and everybody know who used to win or lose a fight, and everybody wasn't there. And that's just local shit. So imagine what the fuck the whole industry know. Motherfuckers Thank know you. Diddy been whooping these Thank hoes you. ass. I love everybody. Thank you. These niggas have to know, bro. Ain't no way these niggas don't know, bro. So and you telling me he don't never discuss it? He he been beating women up since ninety one. Ain't told no. Ain't discussed it with no nigga. He ain't with the no nigga. He like. Hey, I had to beat this bitch up, man. She's yep. talking crazy. He yeah. said that to no nigga. Because men no. that hit women love to brag about it. I've been around some niggas they that be like, I had to slap it. shit out of this bitch earlier. You be like, yep. oh, shit. Damn, he really be hitting women. And then Yo. you be like, all right, let me mind and my I'm business. Like, that go I, back to I'm, let me go mind my business. I just want, I just want motherfuckers <laughs> to be consistent. Because there's motherfuckers out here attacking Diddy right now who... Who got somebody in their camp slapping bitches? Exactly. So exactly. it's like niggas. <laughs> now niggas. niggas finna make. And then I don't like how they make it like Cassie just a hundred percent victim. Her freaky ass is participating in all these orgies and shit too. You don't gotta. You don't gotta do yeah, nothing. That was that was my thing. But this is the thing. You can't go there because one, they gonna call you a victim blamer. You know what I mean? Because they don't believe two things can be true at once. They can't right. believe, Lewis, that you're able to see that Diddy is doing some awful shit and is making people do shit and it's possibly a motherfuckers are, like you said earlier, she could be so afraid of this nigga every, yeah. that, you know, that your help wouldn't even, you know, that she yep. wouldn't even allow you to help and have you fucked up out here. Yeah. You've already acknowledged yeah. in the same podcast yeah. that that could be the case. Yeah. But you asking how much was she a participant in all of this? Now they gonna paint you as a bad nigga because you, you can't right. ask questions. Ain't that crazy? That's a bullshit. I, I'm telling you, there will That's be motherfuckers in the <laughs> be like, I don't like the way Lewis said that she ain't completely a victim. Lewis yeah. already let you know. Don't be mad at me. Be mad at the bitch. Don't be. He That's the. Asking, That's what people call me. Asking a legitimate question because at the end of the day, man. Like eleven years of being abused and drugged up and made to have sex with a lot of people. Yeah, and, and I'm gonna tell you this, man. That video is in the Intercontinental in L.A. That's why I say all the time. It's in the Intercontinental in L.A. Let me tell you something, man. That was 2016. Yeah. In 2017, I went to the Bad Boy Reunion Tour concert at the Forum in L.A. backstage. Mm. Cassie was in Bentley with that nigga. Mm. Whenever, you know what I mean? But all the women love to say, if I'm going to cry, I'm going to cry in the Bentley. But well, get your but ass whooped in the Bentley, like, too. I'm like, yo, at no point did Cassie, around all these people, Cassie ain't never thought to just jump out and be like, he's holding me hostage. I don't want to go with him. Somebody help me. <laughs> never? Yeah. Because she wasn't but held hostage. This is what I'm saying. And, and I don't want people to hear it and think I'm blaming. I, I would love for somebody who has been in that situation to under to help me understand why you don't do it. Like, because Diddy has to protect his reputation. Mm-hmm. It ain't like some street nigga or whatever. And the only yeah. person who can stop him is his mama. Yeah. This is a nigga that if the word gets out that he's doing this to you, his career is over and somehow you're still not able to leverage that. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. That's got to be some old thinking because these new, these new hoes is going exposed. They, but she tried <laughs> to get her money. She got her money. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She but got her money. is 11 years. These, these new hoes, you're not beating them for 11 years. I don't and know. She might be the blue. Guy? She might be the blueprint. These hoes might need to take some notes. It might. No, nah, but but we live in the social media era now. Yeah, you're not gonna put saying. your hands on these hoes for not eleven, for 11. Years without not for going eleven viral. things. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you, she she not. doing like old school prostitutes used to be. 
Yeah. Like an old school whole bitch prostitute, they'll stay down that long for 11 years. But 11 years. Yeah. Not, these not these new Instagram new ones, hoes. Bro, these. Hey, bro, ain't no way. Listen, they women, there are women now for clout who will lie about you hitting them. Yeah. For clout. Yeah. You think they gonna not say nothing if you actually hit them? Yeah, it was a female that got paid by a professional athlete to be quiet. She couldn't even be quiet for the money. She still said something. Like, he paid for sex and all type. I'm like, you took Yo, the money clout and told is, you a dumbass. Clout, I'm telling you, clout is real revenue for them nowadays. You, listen, and listen. And that's to the benefit, for those who hear me, I don't want you to think I'm saying it as a negative. That's to the benefit of stopping the shit. Yeah. It's going to be a lot harder for these niggas to be manipulative. And thank God. But that the, is that's what I'm saying. In the clout era, nigga, hey. <laughs> that's why I want more people to spill the beans, man. I feel like enough people ain't talking. <laughs> Mm, Too many nah, they they gonna come out right once now. once he get in handcuffs. They everybody gonna get to telling their stories and shit. Boy, listen, because <laughs> they you, still scared of that nigga on the under. They, they like lock this nigga up before I tell my story. I really believe that, bro. Yeah, they scared of him for real. He killed Tupac, bro. <laughs> I love everybody. It's out already. <laughs> they, it's it's out. They like, bro. They like Diddy and got Pac gone. And it's like, yeah. we all love Pac. So you know he don't give a fuck about nothing. I mean, and the game already came out to say that they were trying to set Drake up on Diddy's behalf. When That's he was crazy. out in LA. Oh. Yeah. Diddy, man. This is not good, that, bro. We about to stop talking about him right now. They ain't locked him out. This nigga could hey, be looking man, at us. I, all we doing is talking about shit that's out there. Ah! <laughs> I ain't got no extra Diddy information. Yeah, nigga, I ain't got no stories about no parties, nigga. All, I don't nothing. got no behind the scenes. Nothing. Nothing. You'll never hear somebody go, Who? I learned that from Ryan Davis. No, you yep. didn't. Oh, about mama. nothing. Yep. I, I'll gladly, and I. And some people got mad at me recently because I brought that up mm. about the uh, Kendrick and Drake beef. Because I was like, I'm not a big exposing nigga ass nigga. That's not. Yeah. If I know some shit about a nigga that can yeah. fuck with his money, yeah. I think about his family first. Yeah. Before I think about what I can gain from it, you don't get no benefit by harming somebody's career. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean. There's nothing. Oh, to gain it's nothing you gain. That. Yeah, there's nothing to gain from that. If I don't fuck with you, I just don't fuck with you. I ain't gotta yeah. fuck with you. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I ain't got just because I don't fuck with you. That don't mean I want to fuck up your livelihood. Yep. And the nigga ain't no player. So I'm not like sure. that. For yeah. me, it's all about now. If exposing you can save people, then you expose. I'm not yeah. gonna let other. I'm not gonna let people be harmed. To hold on to your secret or whatever. That's not how it works. But oh, anything mama's. with, you know, nah, I'm not going to quote unquote. Anything that you'll ever hear from me is me addressing some shit that's already out there. Yep, for real. Oh, mama's. Already out there. It's not did, my job. Did, 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 he, did, did he make a mistake by apologizing or he should have just been quiet? Did he made a mistake by knowing he did the shit that he did and speaking on it to begin with? If he never denied it, this apology would have worked. This nigga denied it and denied it and denied it. Said they were sass- trying to assassinate his character. Yeah, he, he said his his lawyer said it was a oh, money the grab. Truth is gonna come out over time. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Him and his son was really playing with these niggas. Mm-hmm. Diddy should have never posted time or tell the truth. Niggas should have just kept posting him with his children. His daughters was going to prom. That's the thing. It's like. Them niggas was really probably going to leave you alone for real. Not completely, but leave you alone for real. When they run up in your house, though, the feds, the FBI in both nigga, houses in LA and Miami, I don't think they was going to leave that nigga alone. Like he was a terrorist, bro. You see what I'm saying? I don't think they was going to leave that nigga alone. They came to take is, his uh, ass. I'm talking about the leaking of shit. They were just mm-hmm. going to, you know what I mean, do whatever yeah. it takes to get the trial to move forward. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what they do. They would have been. They would have just submitted evidence to a to a judge. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or they would have so they can get the indictment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But when you keep playing in their face, trying to win the war of public opinion, 
Yeah. Them niggas is like, oh, he really trying to get the world to think he ain't done none of this shit. Time will tell. Hey, here's something for your time, then. Remember yeah. this nigga? Remember he this? probably in a dark place, too. You got to think, that nigga, that nigga ex-wife gone. Yeah. His, his last girl suing his ass for hella money, got hella money from him. Yeah. That's, that's. The last, his last baby mama after, uh, after fucking, uh, Cassie went on a platform and said he was abusive before that. So now this video gives credence to everything she was but saying. I think she trying to get paid. She seen Cassie get, oh, she she seen Cassie get paid. She like, you well, shit, I done got cash. choked about three, four times. Like, Hold on, bitch. Yeah, we wasn't talking to, to you. Out. She showed up about the cash out. Yeah, she finna cash out. She for sure finna cash out. Uh, speaking of women, it's uh, I, I ran across something on social media. It was funny. I seen you comment on it. Um, what's the most manipulating Zodiac sign? <laughs> What's Diddy? When was that nigga born? <laughs> <laughs> he is good. Now, Drake might be good at manipulating people, too. Oh, that's a Scorpio. That's Scorpio. Scorpio. Them Scorpios Drake. might be cold. Yeah. I'm a, uh, manipulating people? From my experience, from my experience. Let's Leo. go off women. Let's just do women. Leo's. Diddy and Scorpio? Oh, Leo. Hey, I just found out that Diddy is Scorpio. So Drake and Diddy is Scorpio. Oh, then there you go. Scorpio's the winner. <laughs> Scorpio's, y'all manipulate people. I'm yeah, not fucking you with won. them. You won. What, what is you, Ryan? What's I'm your Aquarius, nigga. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You ain't manipulate me in no shit. Because <laughs> they good. God. Yeah, damn. No, we. We good. People gonna say there's gonna be people in the comment section talking about how manipulative uh, Aquarius is, and I can't and I can't speak for them niggas. That ain't me. I can't speak for them niggas. Yeah. But Aquarius is tend to be some weirdos, and weirdos tend to be manipulative. So I'm not gonna uh, completely mm. act like I ain't never done the shit or nothing like that. Yeah, but you you can manipulate people if you want to. You choose when to, you manipulate exactly. people. That's what I'm saying. Thank you. It's like uh, if I could, yeah. if I would, like I can if I want to, but I'm not. You know, I, I stay on the side of morality. Yeah, that's why you remind me like a uh, you. That's why you like pimp playerish a little bit because you know how to manipulate motherfuckers. So it's like you got to respect it. Yeah. Or, or, you know what I'm saying? Like you gotta respect it because you underestimate a motherfucker that know how yeah. to manipulate people. They get you. Yeah, I, I man, I tried to explain to people before, man. I was like, look, I can control a narrative if I want to. Yeah, <laughs> if I yeah. choose to, I'm gonna That's learn that shit from you. Ryan. The manipulative uh, nature of some of the Aquarius is an Aquarius can I can make you believe whatever I want you to believe. That's some cold shit. If I had that gift right there, I probably wouldn't even been a comedian. I probably would have been some illegal shit. I'd yeah, probably be doing nah, some bro. shit I ain't supposed to be it's, doing. I'm telling you, when you have the power of persuasion like that, yeah, it's hard to stay on the straight and narrow, bro. But the thing is, karma come back too crazy for you to <laughs> it come back too crazy. So right. that's what yeah, keeps I believe me karma. like karma that <laughs> God and the karma that God placed here for people. I, I don't want no parts of that. I'm gonna just be good. <laughs> like, yeah, for real. I didn't believe I didn't believe in the zodiac sign shit until um until recently. I started my girl been heavily into that shit, and she be like, I'm like, I didn't believe it, but she like, uh, Taurus is like this, and I'm like, if that's the case, if Taurus is a certain way, niggas like Malcolm X would be a Taurus. Yeah. And then <laughs> I looked it up, Malcolm X a Taurus. Yeah, see? <laughs> so I'm like, so Chris Brown, Michael Mix, uh, uh, Damon Dash, just people that's very... Bullheaded and stubborn, nigga. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm, I'm really like that. So I'm like, that's why I'm disappointed in Meek. I'm like, man, that nigga ain't... See, that's why I'm like, I don't believe in this sign shit no more. Because this nah, nigga over here wearing he see-through shirts and shit, that ain't no shit. tour shit, nigga. See, this is the thing about Meek. He don't know, he don't have the words, bro. Mm -hmm. Meek always defends himself and makes it sound worse. Yeah, yeah. He makes it sound worse. Man, you be like, yo, Meek, I heard you was twerking in a thong. It was a gangster thong, nigga. Like, mm. Meek, that didn't help. 
at all, my nigga. He for sure do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that didn't help at all, me. That is, yo, I'm That's true. Lying. That That is real true. <laughs> yeah, that nigga do, do shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, see, I got another one. This is a good one. Um, So, Ludacris was on a podcast, uh, and he was asked if... Could he beat Jay Z in a versus, like in a competition? Though, just riding a verse in a competition, mm-hmm. could he out rap Jay Z? And he said, "Yeah." Mm-hmm. How you feel about that? I think Ludacris is one of the best feature artists of all time, and he's out rapped a ton of people on their song. Yeah, and it's not like Jay Z has never been out rapped on a song before. He definitely has. Mm-hmm. So I think. Ludacris has real credence to what he's saying, you know. Yeah. But I think if he gets the best of Jay Z, he don't stand a chance. For sure. That that's yeah. a fair that's a fair answer. Um, I was it was funny because I was talking about it, um, uh, and I just thought it was funny because uh, a lot of people on the social media, their reaction to Ludacris saying that was like crazy to me because they talking like Ludacris is crazy for saying that or feeling that oh, way yeah, about no, it. Oh yeah, they stupid. They oh, stupid. Yeah, I, I ain't mean to say it like that. People who think <laughs> that Ludacris. Okay, I guess it's but, not stupid. But y'all, but y'all, but y'all, y'all a little bit stupid. For sure. Okay, let me break it down because we're <laughs> we're artists. We're artists. So from an artist perspective, uh, especially being a peer, Ludacris is a peer of Jay Z, right? Yeah. They kind of peers. So one thing I know is about being an artist, you don't look at your peers how other people may look at your peers. No. So it's like. As a as a young nigga, we all look at Jay Z like, oh no nah, no, nah, I got respect for Hove. I, I you know right. what I'm saying? That's Hove. But Ludacris like, nigga, I don't give a fuck about no Jay Z. I out rap his ass. That for nigga out rap Nas on Major Look Remix. Like, bro, he he's out rap some people. He doesn't. He out-rap really out. Ludacris yo. really a legend. And then yeah. another thing too, you look at your peers different. I just know as an artist, like I got respect for all the OGs, like all the OGs in comedy. Like I look at it like similar, but it's still like I'm gonna give you that respect because y'all didn't put yeah, y'all work in. But but look, but a peer, Lou, nigga, you ain't fucking you just with did, me. You just did the '85 South show at uh, the YouTube Arena and for Netflix, right? Yeah. It was a lot of niggas who can be considered your OG in that show, in that showcase, and everything. A lot of niggas did well. Then you was killing. Appreciate it. On my was though. Kill, but that's what I'm saying. It's like, we ain't got to say that you better than niggas than more than there was a time where verse for verse, you won, nigga. It's, that's what I'm saying. That's the thing that's weird that people don't understand about artists, nigga. Like, yep. Anybody can get whooped any given night, nigga. Anybody can get it, bro. Yeah. For real. And that confidence level is different when it's your peers, bro. Yeah. Like, like, let's keep it real, Ryan. Like, like, come on, bro. Like, we both been on great lineups with legendary, iconic comedians that have been on the stage for 30 plus years. So we get on a stage with motherfuckers that's coming off the internet and shit. It's like, bro, I'm not having that same, like, oh, this person is so funnier than me. No. Nigga, he funny and I'm funny. We gonna see who do they thing tonight. We gonna see who do they thing tonight. So that's what Ludacris was saying. He like, if done, you give me time done, to rap, write man, my verse. I done shared stages with legends. Definitely smacked them that night. Yeah. And I done and I done shared stages with niggas y'all will never know. And yep. they smacked the shit out of me that. That's night. a fact. That's a fact. Yep. Nigga, that's how comedy works. Now listen, when we start talking whole bodies of work or yeah. me at my best, yeah. me at my best, I don't think a lot of people can fuck with me. On Facts. And, yo, and, and you should feel like no no comedian on this earth is fucking with you at, you at your best. That's at how you should best. feel. Because, bro, people don't know. When you on, that's any artist. When you on, nigga. You got you to gotta feel it to know what we talking I'll about. I'll give y'all a great example. Mm-hmm. Kendrick's they not like us. Yep. Niggas didn't even know he was capable of that. Yeah. That nigga was on. He <laughs> was going crazy. Yeah, that nigga was he, on. Yeah, we still dancing to that shit Yo. right now. We didn't know we could be dancing for Kendrick Lamar now, for two weeks. We didn't like, know that was possible. They were like, 
Who can make a better bop? Kendrick or Drake? Everybody gonna say Drake. That's the common sense answer. Facts. But for one day, <laughs> yep. Kendrick had something for that nigga. Yeah. You know? Or Kendrick might just be looking at Drake like, bro, if I wanted to do that, I could do that shit all day. Yeah, but nigga. you see what I'm saying? I don't look at Drake how y'all look at Drake. That's what Kendrick's saying. Like, y'all think he could just, uh, he make better club music than me. But I can do this shit better than I him if I wanted to. I can do it too if I wanted to. That's what I'm saying. So the whole idea that people were like, yeah, man, but Luda ain't going to be able to rap, out rap Jay this way. You don't know. You don't he know may that. Not just wanted to rap that way. It's he doing movies and shit. Stay in his own lane. Yeah, but he do movies. Out rapping Jay Z on a Jay Z ass beat. Yep. You don't know. Yep, I feel like two people that don't get the credit they deserve, and they kind of remind me of each other, is Ludacris and the baby, the rapper, the baby. Man, he I really know how to rap really hella good. good. Yeah, both of them niggas be rapping, rapping, boy. and people be sleeping on they they verses and shit, bro. Yeah, yeah. So that that that's uh that's crazy. Um. Another topic we got, 39-year-old Drea is dating an NBA star that's 22 years old. Uh, they got a baby girl now. Uh, you know, how do you feel about the age gap of their relationship? She's He's 22, she's 39. I wouldn't care about the age gap, honestly. Mm -hmm. Me, I wouldn't mm -hmm. care about the uh, age gap. Because one, Dre is fine. Niggas will say, any nigga that say she ain't is just like, I don't know. I ain't really yeah. paying you. Yeah, Dre, Dre is fine. I seen her at um this little party. Um, yeah. I seen her and she she turned my head. I'm like, oh, and then I seen it was her. I'm like, oh, I'm cool off that bitch. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, that's but then she put, did turn my a, head. You can't, yeah, you can't put aside the bias that you have about what you know about her. Yeah. But if you for the second just put it to the side and look at her. Yeah, if you, you talking one you night, a good fuck for one night, that's a good target for sure. Yeah, yeah. I, I saw her at a BET award after party. I was like, oh no, nah, this bitch fine. She raw. I, I, yeah, sure. I'm not gonna let any. I ain't gonna let none of you niggas front on her. She's fucking fine. Yeah. So and they be like, an NBA player can have anybody. She she is her beauty is the standard of a of a woman who can pull an NBA nigga still to this day. For sure. I don't care nothing about that. My yeah. problem is her son is his age, right? Oh. Yeah. Really? She got a son his age. Now I'm looking now like I'm thinking about myself, right? As a man, right? Mm -hmm. I have my daughter at 27. Mm -hmm. Right? Now me as a man, you already know how it goes, Lou. When we in mm -hmm. our 50s, we still gonna look, we still gonna look pretty much like us, nigga. The money gonna be more than what it, it, it is. We ain't gonna have no problem with ladies still. It's going to be 20-something-year-old women still, you know what I mean, trying For to sure. fuck with us. For sure. I don't know if I personally can look at a woman my daughter's age and do that. But then again, I didn't have my daughter at 17. You know what I mean? Mm, okay, I didn't have I see a daughter at 17, 18, 19. I had but I think that feeling is that feeling, though. No matter I, what, okay. Because I don't have, I don't have. You, I don't have, you no don't have any, but you know where I'm coming from. Yeah, you feel like it, you would feel. Yeah, I, don't I think couldn't I do could. that. I don't think I could do it. I don't but think somebody my kids' age, I just don't. I a, wouldn't feel comfortable. That's, that's so many niggas though. That's so many men where it's like people could be watching us talk and be like, "Oh, they sound young," because yeah. it's like we never been. You feel me? 55 and a badass 22 year old. So I don't know. Yep. But right now at 37, I feel like at 55, I'm not going to have a relationship. Now, I ain't saying I ain't going to knock no 20, <laughs> no 25 yeah. year old, 27 year old down. Yeah. She, you know, she, might, she walk across the street over to me. She might yeah, but it. what type of niggas but, we is, we ain't on that. I just can't see me yeah. or you doing that. I will holler at you, Ryan. I'll be like, Ryan, what your old ass doing with that yeah, young girl, Ryan? I think that's more. What I'm I'm, <laughs> I ain't even going to lie to you. At 37, I get uncomfortable with 25 year olds talk to me. For sure. For sure. So I can't imagine being 55 and being like. Is it okay? It, um, Reverse though, is it okay when the woman is thirty nine and the young and the nigga twenty two? Because it can look like some player shit in a sense. 
But that's what I'm saying. Right. I don't I don't know. Because this is the thing, too, man. You look at their age gap is probably the same age gap as me and Halle Berry, right? Mm-hmm. If Halle Berry had a son my age, I wouldn't give a fuck. That shit ain't got nothing to do with Yeah, me. I wouldn't give a fuck neither. Yeah. I that give. really be something to be excited about because you know the nigga not in the house. This nigga yeah, grown. You see what I'm saying? I'm finna I would, be at her, her house all motherfucking day. You know what I'm talking about? So I see it. I see it from his side. I see how I see it from his side, how he's like, whatever. But me, I also would think about my kid. Mm -hmm. Me having somebody they age, like being with somebody they age, that's got to be like fucking weird. <laughs> if you're female 39, you 22, and that's your real woman, and you start a family with her, I think it'll be better if he was like me alone or something. I just think it being dread and it being an ex prostitute. It's just something about that ain't <laughs> that just don't sound right. It's just like he owned somebody doing it the wrong way. I love yeah. everybody, but it's like I, it, it would have been more me personally. I would have went more like OG Ale, Angela Bassett, yeah, them type somebody, of women. I'm not grabbing no old that. prostitute. Who 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 fits that age range? Uh, yeah, 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 if he ended up with like, like if Lauren London was never with Wayne and Nip, like somebody in that vein would have yeah. been cool. Yeah, but she been around some real niggas. She don't even want to. But that's talk what I'm saying. I'm talking about somebody in that age range. In that realm, I can't think of because that's the age range. I can't think of anybody. Uh, I know Notori Naughton is in that age range. The mm. mom from Power. The mom from Power. Yeah, she go crazy. Yeah, yeah. she. Yeah. Lala, if she was never with uh, Melo. Lala damn near headed the same direction. Dre headed. That's what I was, I was saying. Like, <laughs> I love it's, everybody. It's a but lot if you know of, what I'm talking about. People, that was the thing. We start naming women that we would look to in that age bracket, but the women in our age bracket... Nigga, they been out here. <laughs> yeah. I was finna say, is that the new normal? It's that the, the new normal. I don't yeah, think I th we get a... We don't get to fantasize about the uh, women. No role models. Yeah. Like J. All, Cole sound. They all... You can tie them into at least seven niggas by the time you get to... Because Dre was the first person that... She went on the Breakfast Club and she said, uh, your wholeness can be deleted. Like your whole niss should go away. Like it should. Like people should get over it. And look at it though. Time went by. So many hoes that been hoes. We didn't forgot about dread being one. Shit. We like shit. Her yeah, shit nah, damn near deleted. It's some new ones. It's some new ones now. If you now it almost is like if you call her a hoe now, you just holding on the shit from whatever because you ain't. Now you look like a hater. Now you look like a hater now because she done had like meaningful relationships. Since then, you know what I mean? Engaged, married type shit. Done built, you know what I mean? So she might be the blueprint. She, you got to think about it. How to get back, yes. Yeah, how to bounce to back. How to you got to be an old hoe and knock one of these young niggas that's popping. Yeah. And that nigga NBA popping player. too. He that popping. Nigga best player on an NBA team, nigga. And he, he actually been playing better since he been messing with her. Yeah. And nobody want to talk about it because... It's her. He was going crazy once the news of that baby came out and he'd been rocking with her. Yeah. Nigga, he was he was better than he ever was. I can't even front. I can't even see. The funny part is, like, even if you feel some type of way about it, if you look at his life, yeah, since being with her, this nigga life going better. His life is doing better. The nigga too. The nigga been doing better since he's been with her. <laughs> but, but you know, he had a lot of allegations, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That nigga was doing some wild shit out yeah, here. Yeah, he had his legs pent up in the air yeah, and getting his shit hit in college and all that. Shit out here. So he needed to clear some shit up. So I guess it's helping both of them. She had a resume of being a prostitute, and he had a resume of liking men. So yeah, they're getting together. Dude, they're like, doing their flourishing. To, let's be a family. <laughs> yeah. Let's get them a round of applause for getting their shit together. <laughs> There you go, little man. Yeah. Little the, the Everybody life. need love. For real. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Fuck it. Let them be happy. I'm happy for them. Shit. This nigga playing basketball and she found the man. Shit. <laughs> um, Cardi B announcing 
uh, she's not voting this year. She said, I don't fuck with both of them. Um, how you feel about voting this year? When she first said it, I was like, okay. Cardi B. This is the thing about Cardi B, though, that uh, I had to I had to check myself about. She said that shit. I was like, I don't nobody give a fuck about what Cardi B thinks about voting. And then she explained why she's not voting for him. And then you forget. I had to remind myself that Cardi B has actually always really paid attention to politics. Oh, really? Yeah, she's actually really in the It was actually a very informed decision. <laughs> wow, for us, yeah. so we being judgmental? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, being, I'm, I'm, I'm being judgmental and shit. Yeah, I'm like, Cardi B don't give a fuck about no politics. Stripper slash naked rapper slash, <laughs> slash reality show. Bitch, you care about the economy? Yeah, girl fighting on reality shows. Like, man, nobody want to hear her talk about <laughs> politics. And then when yeah. she say whatever about politics, you're like, Oh, this bitch really be watching. She really been keeping up with. <laughs> yeah, but she getting money though, so she should be watching. Yeah, and see what's should. going on. Shit, she should yeah. be voting for Donald Trump. Yeah, she said her. Uh, I think she said growing up, her uh, favorite subject was social studies. So, you know, people lean into what they lean into. Mm, social studies that makes sense because she's very social. <laughs> <laughs> she's very social. She, she. That's why she was able to graduate. Uh, from strip club to superstar because she yeah. studied that shit. She, yeah, see, my nigga, I see what you doing. Yeah, <laughs> she, she, she studied being social. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's smart. I like Cardi B. I like Cardi yeah. B. Uh, the thing is, really like her. I'm really yeah. mad that she ain't been dropping no music. That's the one thing about me when people be like, oh, she got writers. I hope so. If mm. if if the writers are making better music than the artists can make by themselves, by all means get some writers. Uh, I just want to hear good music. Mm, that's that's good game for real. Because yeah, people be I scared to up, say that. Man, this is the thing, yo. Because I'm like, we've seen some of the best rappers in the world have to do battle rap mm -hmm. because they can't make songs. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody should have just somebody who could make songs should have just got with them niggas. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> somebody yeah. just has somebody who know how to do hooks, somebody who knows how to make the music and do somebody who knows how to make a song and be like, hey man, give us a 16 on this subject. But you don't think Cardi B been doing that her whole career? No, Cardi B is that's what I'm saying. Cardi B is smart. Cardi B yeah, is like, yeah. like, no, it's yeah. a all her music is collaborative. Yeah. She's like, nah, we all getting together to make the best song. And her music is just, how many people have she buried on their own song? Tons. She killed people on they, on her features. Mm, never peeped. Never noticed that. Man, go listen to Tomorrow with G Glorilla. Watch her. Uh, the that joint ain't hard. Lotto. I love everybody. That yeah, ain't the hard. the joint with Lotto, right? Okay, Lotto that correct. The plastic joint, mauled her. Mm, her she did. Yep. Yeah, like... You think of man, I'm telling you, pull up any song with Cardi as a feature. Back on uh what's his name? Uh the white boy and he had ASAP Rocky. If I hit it one time, I'm a white boy. Uh Jack Harlow? No, no, no. It was That's the only G white boy I can think. Oh, G Easy. Oh, yep. nigga G Easy from the bank. Nigga on mama. Yep. Yeah. She, she mopped that nigga, mopped she the did. Yeah. <laughs> she Her did. own husband mopped that nigga. <laughs> oh hell no. Nah. She ain't out rapping. On uh, Cloud, she did. Oh, Cloud, she did. Yeah. Yeah, she do be guessing. She be, look, got the Migos yeah. on Motorsport, got them too. Yeah. Get them niggas out of and here. And she be saying that freaky shit, and we believe her. That's why yeah. she be rapping good. Because she be, I want you to put that dick in my, you be like, ooh, I do, yeah. what? She said, shit. hit that little dangly thing in the back of my throat. I was when like, she wow. said that, I said, she the GOAT. I said she going crazy because that's exactly what niggas trying to do. Put that hey, motherfucker I right tell, in that I little ball. All the time, man. It, people be like, all, all they do is rap about sex. Listen, it ain't about rapping about sex. I want you to say the things that I want you to say yep. to me. Yep. Megan Thee Stallion is. can make a whole career off of just riding. Just keep talking about riding that motherfucker. Keep talking about I I just want to hear <laughs> what I would want to hear from you. Yep. Yeah, it's like, oh. nah, some of these women, they don't get it. They just think, oh, it's selling sex and selling sex. Cardi B know how to talk to niggas. 
She know how to talk, but she got that. She studied that shit, Ryan. Yeah. Yeah. She been in that strip club, so she yeah. know how to say she that shit in your to ear to make really. you spin that chicken. You know what I'm talking about? So she just doing it without really having to go to the back room. No. Yeah. She yeah, saying the she same shit. on wax now. But on wax. And she, uh, she at the house with Offset. Yeah. Right. Shit. Married. I ain't even, ain't even doing none of this. <laughs> Going crazy. It's a whole game, boy. It's yep. a whole game. Those yep. know how to talk, too. Doja Cat know how to talk. That's why I, I love listening to us. Uh, I got a peeper. Oh, yeah. Doja know how to talk, nigga. Uh, <laughs> Doja, Doja yeah, I like that same. female rap shit when it comes to that, when they start talking yeah. that freaky shit. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. yeah. And then Megan Thee Stallion said, said, Megan the Stallion said she put that motherfucker in, it feel like butter. Yeah, boy. <laughs> I said, oh, she slide it in, you slide it in, it feel like butter. I said, that's a good line. Yeah, that's a great line. And then I know it's gonna be some people on here. It's like, and this is why Rhapsody don't get the credit that she deserves because y'all niggas listening to that. Hey man, I don't want to hear my woman talk about some spherical miracle. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah. I don't want to hear that. I don't yeah. want to hear. It. Listen, the times I do want to hear it, right? Because this is the thing. You ain't got to do all that to be able to rap. Eve could rap her ass off. She ain't have to rap about sex all the nope. time. You know what I mean? But she also wasn't rapping about the fucking constellations and, and segregation and fucking, I don't want to hear about none of that shit, you niggas man. ain't trying to hear wanna, that shit. I don't want to hear your best Harriet Tubman. But boy. ladies, but ladies, pay <laughs> attention though. Do not listen to these female rappers and be living that shit because at the end of the day, these female living. rappers going back home to their man. Yeah. And bitch, you over here trying to ride boats and all of that, and you gonna be asked out. Because you can't just tell on niggas like Megan and Stallion and then get away with it, and then you back good. Yeah. You hoes ain't got enough money for that. <laughs> Yo, I, um, Glorilla, I like Glorilla, but Glorilla, it's about an attitude. I just like her attitude. It's mm. a confidence thing. Yeah, she's confident. It's super confident. So she's if you confident. like, like, if you like boisterous music, which a lot of people do, yeah, Glorilla is like the go-to for that. So I'm just like, I don't think Glorilla is like the spokeswoman of women that think they cute and they really don't believe they cute. Confidence, That's the target. Bro. Yeah. 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 yeah, confidence. They all convincing themselves. This yeah. is shit. They really don't believe. Right. <laughs> it's the. It's the. I mean, I see what I look like, but. I ain't gonna let nobody tell me shit. You see which what I'm is, saying? Which is great. They deserve their music too. Yeah, they do. That be the thing. I think yeah. everybody should get their music. Everybody yep. should. This whole thing of people asking, like, or to be like, nah, this person should be at the top. This person, hey man, you support that person as much as you can. Yep. You put other people on to them whenever y'all in the car. With friends, you play that shit. Yep. When y'all at the kickback at the crib, play that shit. Try to. I'm a I'm on. a huge Cash Doll fan. I like Cash right. Doll because she represents all really the boss crazy. ass bitches that get their own money that got ass. I love yeah. that. And, and Cash Doll is great to look at. Great. She <laughs> yeah. look good. She get money. She bossed up. Bossed I want to hear that. Yeah, yeah. I, that's what I'm saying. It's like everybody want to hear what they want to hear, and yeah. it's. Like people are like, why sexy red so big? Cause it's a lot of sexy reds out here, nigga. It's a lot. I I grew up with a lot of sexy red. It's I have... a lot of sexy reds out here. Yeah. I don't know why people don't get that. <laughs> they were like, they sexy red didn't appear out of thin air. You know what it is though? It's the guys. Niggas is acting like they don't know sexy reds when we really do. We fucked we, with a few sexy it's a reds, ton, bro. A ton of stop them. playing. It's a ton of them. Yeah, and it's they show us a good time. Them sexy yeah, red bitches a, is cool. It's a ton of rhapsodies out here, but they don't want to listen to rhapsody. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's what that's not the type of music that women like <laughs> rhapsody listen to a lot. Yeah, a lot of them listening to R and B. You get what I mean? A lot yeah. of them are. You know, but yeah. the sexy red ish type of girls, they ain't really listening to R and B. Yeah, now they not listening to, listen to Janelle Eco and all of them. They not. Yeah, on. they not listening. To, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I think and I don't City, want my I don't want my Janelle Eco women 
to be listening to that sexy red shit. And I, I let's have all this shit separate. We should have, yeah. you know what they should start doing? They should start making nightclubs named after artists. So it should be like a sexy red nightclub. Yeah. And it should be like so a Janai Eco Club. Like, so you know what you finna I'm walk into. To I'm all through the Beyonce nightclub. I'm yep. pulling up to that. <laughs> I'm not pulling up to no motherfucking. I love everybody, but I'm not pulling up to no motherfucking Gorilla Nightclub. I'm not. I'm not. It sound like bitches might start fighting. I want to listen to Gorilla Glorilla in my house. Yes. <laughs> I do not want to go to the Glorilla Club. I, <laughs> I want to listen to her in my car. I don't want to listen to I don't want to go to the club. I don't want to be surrounded by a bunch of Glorillas. <laughs> No, that's I a fact. Be in a corporate space with my own personal Glorilla. <laughs> nah, for real. On my own time. Yeah, on my own that I have chose to be around. I, yep. I got this Glorilla with me tonight. I'm with the I'm on the Glor Glorilla type of time. Pig. Yeah. And if yeah. another nigga brings another one in, I'm like, nigga, what you doing? Yeah, it better be a... I brought the one that's supposed to be here, nigga. <laughs> you bring two, they gonna start thinking this is a spot for them, nigga. Hey, everybody that's watching this right now, y'all put a comment. Y'all drop a comment right now. <laughs> Tell us what nightclub y'all want to attend. If it was an artist, if it's yeah, an artist, name artist the nightclub. You know what I'm talking to. about I'm pulling up to the Cash Doll nightclub and I'm pulling up to the Beyonce uh nightclub. You feel me? Yeah, that's the type of vibes I like for sure. Yeah, I oh, I gotta go. Oh, this is tough. This is tough. Think I'm going to go to the Jill Scott nightclub for Ooh, sure. That's good. That's popping. That's a lounge. That ain't even yeah, a nightclub. That's a lounge. That's you a know? lounge. Yeah. That's some player shit. I might, because yeah, Cash I, Doll sis. Feel me? Yeah. That's my sis. So I, I'm going to have to swap out. I'm going to go fuck with you at the Jill Scott yeah, lounge. Yeah, I'm going to have to go fuck with, <laughs> I'm about to fuck with the Jill Scott site. That lounge. Because that those are women who, who they're probably going to be educated. Yeah, they're gonna give you a massage. They sultry. You see what yep, I'm saying? Nurturing, not, for sure. that, that goes that goes different from sexy felt like yeah. fellas and ladies. They sultry. They the type to give you a massage. They yeah. the type, but listen, you ain't complaining about buying them no drinks. Ain't no big nah. deal. <laughs> you ain't mm -mm. It, you feel less as you feel less as a man not buying them a drink. Yeah, you feel you, buy you, a you drink, see what sister. I'm saying? That type of lady. And Jill Scott be singing about fucking a lot. So these yeah. women do, they with the shit. She fuck around. She fuck yep. around, but she yep. ain't no hoe. Exactly. But she'll be your hoe. Exactly. If that's what you into. That's that's, that's the knowledge that they can't get in college, Ryan. That's why I gotta be there. <laughs> I gotta be we there. Pull for it that. Up. Y'all y'all put Jill a comment. Scott joint, I'm gonna pull up on. Um let me think though. If, for a second one, mm -hmm. I think I gotta do the Jay Z one. Mm -hmm. Just because I'm like ball all night. And just I some ball and like, shit, good good networking space. Well, I think I'm gonna go to the Jay Z one because that's where I'm gonna find the the rap girlies I like. The girls who rap Jay Z, I really fuck with. Like if oh, I'm around, the okay, girl, they understand some boss shit. And she, yeah, and she started yeah. rapping Jay Z. Like, yeah, that's a woman I kick it with. You know I like what I mean? that. That's that's that's. I like that. That's smart. That's smart because she understand yeah. your mentals. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's smart. Those are the two spots I'm a roll to. I uh, Papa alone is people, man. Y'all tap in, put a comment, like, share, subscribe. Let us know what club you attend. And uh, also let us know what we miss. You yeah, know let I mean? us know. Hey, look, we ain't perfect. We trying to we trying to let you know how we feel, but there might be information that we miss, things that we said wrong. Please don't let us just be out here uneducated. You know, come what I mean? on, please, please put us on game. You understand me? Uh, appreciate y'all for watching this motherfucking episode. Sacramento, I'm on the way. You feel me? I'm at the punchline. Sacramento headline. You already know what time it is. You know how we fuck around when I'm in town. You understand me? And June I'm at 9th. the Comedy Connection in Providence, Rhode Island this weekend. Um, What's the date? Uh, shit, 23rd through the 25th. All right, 23rd to the 25th. What, what city again? Providence, Rhode Island. Woo! Y'all pull yeah. up, you feel me? Sacramento, June 9th. Y'all get your tickets, man. Lewis Belt, not to help, man. We'll see y'all next episode. Appreciate y'all. Right, I'm out, baby. Yes, Lord.